Hello, my name is Brahim Dawood. I am Power App Participant Cohort 6. Uh, this is my final app challenge overview video. I will walk you through all uh, requirements and fun functionalities and how I built this app using Power App technology, uh, using Power BI for building dashboard for manager and Power Automate system notifications and virtual agent to help um, customer uh, to help a customer answer uh, their question online while they are shopping and also that the first and uh, build a, a model driven app uh, for employees so they can manage uh, inventory and the uh, Canva app for great shopping experience for customer. Uh, first, uh, I will walk you, I will share with you the business scenario. Soul Style is a boutique shoes company specializing in high-end footwear. The company aims to have an efficient way of tracking their shoes, products, managing stock level, and providing seamless shopping experience for customers. They want to streamline their inventory management process. I was provided with a, a data set which includes product name, category, price, description, size, color, quantity and stock, and targeted quantity. For the images, I have to go online and add some images to the data set. Uh, the first requirement for a customer is a customer, as you can see here, uh, this is the main page, welcome page, and uh, they can uh, go and click here. So the first requirement is uh, the first requirement the uh, customer should be able to search by category and uh, also by price low to high high to low and also by product's name and let's say example we just do urban here and the next requirement customers should able to add products to shopping cart so if i click here now it's zero if i click here we add one also i can change the quantity I add three more. And uh, next requirement is to build uh, a checkout process. And once they click here, they will take them checkout process where they can see more details about the product they are shopping, quantity, price, subtotal, and here adding some more fees like shipping and taxes. They can go back to shopping cart and add more product, as you can see here, or add more product, or they can clear the cart. They are not interested. I'm just going to add more product here, three here, two here, four here, and now we have eight products. Uh, I will. I'm using patch function, so when I click here, it will process the uh, order. As you can see, green bar means the order is successfully uh, sent. And uh, also, as you can see, if I do refresh here. Uh, you can see um, all the the data displayed on the sales report. Take a few seconds. And uh, while we are waiting, so I'm just going to go back to Canva app. And uh, the other requirement is to build chatbot to help a customer. And this is like some example. Hello, uh, opening hour. Opening it automatically give me hour. We open 24 hours, seven days a week. Yes, answer question. Asking to read my experience. No question. They ask goodbye. And I would like to ask again return or refund. Automatically will send me the refund deep. Um, so all the, their policy and everything. And say no. No, and uh, that's good. And for employees, uh, the first requirement so is uh, this is another button when you click will take you to employees page so where they can see uh, pictures, uh, image, uh, product, uh, or original price, final price, and once and they can filter by category as well and uh, also by price and by name urban 
and you can see here. And one thing here also is once they click on this button, they can go to detailed pages, they can see more details about products, uh, list price, color, category, and the name. And you can navigate between pages and all the here. Uh, next uh, requirement is to configure um, dataverse. I did configure dataverse, so now it's, uh, uh, it reflects all the changes that are happening on employees' modern driven app. And uh, going back to modern driven app, so which is going to play here, this is the modern driven app where employees can make changes here. So they say when they can add this product, they can change the price, uh, they can change the price, also they can change quantity, uh, 40, whatever, and they can save changes. Also, employees, they are maybe able to uh, search by products. And okay, they can delete products. I'm just going to delete this one, delete products, delete and processing. And also, they can add new products. So, I'm just going to do this one very quick. I just title uh, shoe products. Uh, Red category color red size eight uh, target stack fifty. So once the employees say two things happening behind the scene. First one is send notification to the manager that the uh, uh, new product, uh, new item added to the inventory, and uh, new uh, item added, and also. Uh, the changes will reflect on data that uh, going back here as you can see let's go back to I thought the uh, as you can see which just received email like I'm acting as a manager here so we can see a new iron added makers color some details here and also uh for the managers, uh, we built this dashboard so he can track uh, inventory. As you can see here, uh, and this is stocks and average transactions, and this is some of the discount and total sales. And here, this is uh, for his targeted sales, and here, uh, target stock versus quantity stock by product category. As you can see here, and also the manager with easy and you can also filter by go through through here and filter by categories, as you can see here. And uh, one more thing here on the bottom, there are here that he can spot immediately what are slow moving products here and what are low stack products here, so he can. Uh, add more products and what are popular products here and also as you mentioned I just gonna want to do one more thing here and this is dir in direct import so whatever changes happen in the power app that diverse it will reflect uh, direct directly live update on power bi as you can see here 1270 once I click refresh it automatically will uh, will change because we have to, we add we just added some stuff it's 12.90 now and all the numbers changed and uh, thank you for the opportunity i'm very excited and i learned a lot and thank you again <laughs>